he honore kroore a he mau ngā rongo ki te whenua e whakaaro pai ki ngā tangata katoa. I uh, just want to give a mihi to Tainui, to uh, Ngāti Whātua, to Kaurau Amaki, and uh, Ngā Puhi, and all the whānau, whānui, uh, and um, that are uh, mana whenua here. And I'd also like to um, say thank you to the Commerce Commission and to Sylvia for inviting tangatawhenua.com, my wife and I, uh, to this um, conference, and also for the Flash Hotel room. Yeah, me. <laughs> How big was that bed? But you know, Flash Hotel and still single-ply toilet paper. What's up with that? Uh, and my kōrero today is uh, Digital Māori. Um, we created a website, tangatawhenua.com, just to be the one-stop shop for Māori online. We felt like other people were stoking our fires, so we wanted to, uh, to do it ourselves. So um, the whole reason I'm here is to give a bit of a kōrero about rural broadband, uh, especially around our marae, around farms, and about our, most of our whānau who live out in the rural communities. Although we don't want to confuse it by saying that all Māori live out in the country, because most of us live in the city, but our hearts are at home back in, in the, at our marae back in the country. So uh, there is a distinction between Māori in the city and Māori in the country, but I'll get to that. Huh. Right? Yeah. Uh, Tangatawhenua.com, we established in 2002 with a simple ipanu. That was just the top five links of Māori sites we found online. At that stage, it was all... Um, tourists and Pākehā writing about Māori people. And um, what we read wasn't that flattering, so we just decided to take it upon ourselves to find what was online, do a basic search back in Alta Vista. Yeah, back on Alta Vista, I think, back then. And um, we found that most of the Māori kōrero was from corporates and from tourists who were passing through. Very little was from our point of view. So we decided to join uh, Ross Himona, uh, Anthony, I'm pretty sure Anthony was on back then, um, Robin Kamira, quite a few pioneers that we just followed in their footsteps. Uh, the reason we did it was because mainstream news tended to avoid Māori stories. If a baby was dead and they were Māori, front page. But if a baby was born or a baby won an award, no one would ever know. So it was our way of celebrating ourselves because all the shit news went straight to the front. And then everyone across the nation would go, bloody Maoris. But we knew that wasn't us. That's just what the media wanted to get you to watch. Uh, Tangatawhenua.com is, oh, my wife wrote this, is the most popular Māori owned and run news and info website. Yeah. We aggregate our news, we put up, I think we just put up two or three stories in the last, in the lunchtime. We try and, but between us we've got multiple streams of Pānui news and information and we try to send it up through our website, Tangatawhenua.com, our Facebook page and Twitter, LinkedIn, getting more into YouTube. Yeah, I'm that cheeky digital Māori fella. Anyway. Um, uh, 2011, just before Christmas, we launched a Māori news app. So if you have an iPhone, please download. You can get an insight into our world from our point of view. Uh, we developed sites, websites and communication strategies for Māori, hapu, land trust and marae because we find that a lot of companies come in, oversell, overpromise and charge $15,000 for a website which... Some of us can do it in about half an hour. So we've been, we've been just taking the power back to our communities because too many IT people are coming in and bullshitting us. Anyway, um, we've got a committed staff of three, but we ap appreciate and acknowledge the thousands of people who have been sending us pānui for the last almost 10 years now. So kia ora to you all. The three big ones I want to talk about now is boy, uh, Google Māori, Google Aotearoa, and our app. Well, I talked about the app, but on that side. Uh, boy, in, nine, in 2009, Mira Tamita came to us and said, I've got this young talent, and he's really shy and really scared, but he wants to put out this movie, and we need your help just to let Māori people know. Because when he went out to the Tuanango Aotearoa, and he screened his uh, short film, Two Cars, One Night, most of the people didn't know who he was. So we started a viral campaign, and over the course of six months, we got more people just clicking into what this little movie could be. We took them to the screens, we got them to watch, and over the course of a year, two years, Boy became the number one movie in this country. So I just want to give props to Mira Tamita, yep, rest in peace, and also to the bro Taika Waititi, Ainsley Gardner, and also uh, Bradley Walker, because together Māori backed this movie, $9 million. And today we're trying to get that movie over to America, 
We were just in California in Christmas, and everyone wanted to watch it. But no, it wasn't on Netflix, wasn't in the movies. So we came home and we saw the campaign to get Boy into the States. So that's, that's pretty exciting for us. They need 90 grand, we've got 30 grand. So that's pretty cool. Google Māori, my wife was doing a tutu online a few years back, and she went Google languages. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if Māori's in there. And it wasn't, you know, it was funny for us because the Klingon was there. <laughs> Alma fucking Fudd was there. <laughs> but Māori wasn't there, eh? And so we just picked up on the mahi that um, Tataka Keegan from Waikato University and Kraitea Natauru, they'd been developing this. And also Craig Neville Manning. He was the guy who made Frugal and he's the New York dude up in Google now. Baiki, we he from Waikato. And so we teamed up with him and our language translators and the Google crew helped put that Google Māori up. So we just want to give shout outs to all our good people who just saw that our modern language and our culture needs to stay alive in the 21st century. Ow. This is my for real. Um, I like that quote it all there. Sure, all the folk on stage are Pākehā, males short-haired and over 40, but only four wearing ties. And that really, that typified kind of what I think. I'll go through this. Um, IT can be overhyped, overpromised, and underdelivered, especially in our rural communities. Everyone talks about get an iPad, get a this, get a that, but when you're in Waimana, you can't get shit. You try, you, you, we've got one special place on my uncle's front porch where everyone stands there to get a connection. <laughs> and then at the marae, you've got one, one power charger with five phones, and everyone's out doing this. So when I hear Vodafone, Two Degrees, Telecom, we'll reach 98% of you. What a bunch of crap. You need to wake up and you need to come back to our homes and you need to find out that you're shit. Um, our marae are ignored in everyone's plans. When the RBI came around, it was an attachment. It was bullshit. They didn't even look at us. They didn't even really talk to us until we got up and we grabbed those Vodafone dudes and grabbed those telecom dudes and gave them a punch in the head. Papa Kainga, that's where our people want to move home. I just want to meet you to Liz because that's what a lot of people said. We all want to move home because the world's getting crazier and crazier. But home is a place that's special in our heart, but there's not a lot of technology set up there. So our marae are ignored, our papa kainga are ignored, and for the most part, Māori are forgotten, unless we're a big iwi with billions of dollars, or if we occupy a land corp. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, the ICT industry, that's to me, and not only to me, these are people, is racist, is sexist, and is city-centric. Yeah, yeah, not our fun, uh, excluded, eh? But for me, the marae, the marae, um, with technology, one third want to adopt, one third will wait, and one third don't give a, f don't want to. But, and the one third really was, my co martel was here, the problem is, you pick up one of these, you don't know how to sweep. You know, like how many people use their cell phone today? Hands up. How many people use their laptop today? Hands up. Now, how many people use the vacuum cleaner today? Yeah, that's what, and that's why my koro said, no, we don't want all this IT, because it actually gets away from you being able to actually work. You know, all this, there's no mahi. We've got heaps of uh, fishing rods, we've got heaps of shovels, they're all getting uh, cobwebs. Anyway, the alpha real is that it's overhyped, over overpromised, and we actually want better treatment than that. So, for us addressing the kaupapa, our broadband future is partly about the quality of access. Marae equals access, access equals knowledge, and knowledge equals power for whānau and communities. And we don't really have a solution, but over lunch we said, what do we want to see? And for tangatawhenua.com in particular, we'd like to see more collaborative projects with for real benefit. We want to focus, uh, focus our increase on training, how many businesses here can take a young person, a rangatai, under your wing now? Stop talking about all these, in the future we will, and we, you know. You're not. You're just trying to impress each other. Just get out there and get one person today and actually show us that you mean it. Otherwise, you're just blah, blah. A greater emphasis on home-based initiatives, especially whānau at home. We have 10,000 readers of our pānui, and 60% are Māori women, aged between 25 and 55. And a lot of them stay home. 
and they work from home and they look after the home fires. So we need to create more opportunities for them. Uh, education at home and wānanga at marae. Get cut back on the bullshit. I know it's hard because a lot of this is marketing. But rural communities have been promised the earth, but all they get is grass. I would like some kind of respectful recognition of Māori IP and indigenous knowledge systems. I know it's not really being talked about, but people always steal our shit, take it overseas, repackage it, make some money, and then come back and blame us for being lazy. Anyway, and really to keep being the bridge between you and here and our whānau at home. So, yops.